Hello, my name is Vito Bell. If you're new to this channel, I'm a college student going to school in North Carolina for music and Spanish. And uh, I've been DE shaving for about six years now. I collect razors. Um, and uh, yes, this video will be about the Gillette Fat Boy razor um, right here. How I found it and possibly uh, giving you all some suggestions on where you might look in order to find one for really cheap. Um, I've never paid more than $20 for uh, an antique razor. Um, this uh, Gillette Fat Boy that I purchased was exactly $20. Um, and if you look online anywhere, they're pretty much 100 bucks on eBay or Craigslist or anything. And you can find these for cheaper. If you know where to look, you can definitely, definitely find these for much, much cheaper than how you would find them online. Um, mine also came with this um, this container. Um, really, really awesome. I didn't get the uh, the user manual or the um, or the blades that came with it in the little blue pack, um, but I did get the razor and this set. So um, just so that you guys know that this is an actual Gillette Fat Boy, I know they're hard to tell apart from the Slim. I have a Slim here as well. I actually got this for $1. Um, I'm not joking. I got this for $1 out of a mug at a flea market. It had hair coming out of it and soap stuck all over it. I, I mean, it had hair stuck in it and a blade still in it at a flea market. But I got it for $1 and it is in excellent condition. Excellent condition. I sanitized it and cleaned it and oiled it and uh, it's in really, I mean, it's in impeccable shape. Everything is in alignment. Um, and I've been using this for pretty much as long as I've been DE shaving. This is kind of what started all of it. Uh, but $1, one, I, I mean, I still can't believe it. So this is the fat boy. Um, there were four, um, kinds of fat boys in general there. They, um, in the versions of them that they were making, uh, there is some overlap where they would use parts of the old machines and the new machines, but in general, there are like four, I guess you could say, generations of the Fat Boy. This is it in comparison to the Slim, so you can see the difference. The Slim is longer and slimmer, and um, there are differences in between uh, the little turning knobs down here. And um, this one, my Fat Boy in particular, let me see if I can't focus this here, um, has different um, kind of grips where the adjuster knob is. Um, I hope you can see that all right, but so that you know that this is a fat boy, here is my side to side comparison. And just so you know that this uh, case also is a fat boy case, I will show you that the slim does not fit in it. Here is the fat boy fitting into it. You see how the door can close? The door can close and it's in there perfectly. Here is the slim, not fitting, oh, okay, well it actually, I mean it fits, but it doesn't fit good, I kind of have to squeeze it in there, it doesn't just set in there, like, like the fat boy does, so I guess that's not really a good example, but fat boy just sits down, right down in there, um, okay, so four generations of the fat boy, out of those four generations, this is from the last generation. Um, it has a G and a one, um, in, in terms of dating them, there's a really, really great website that I'll link in the description below for figuring out the dates of your Gillette razors. Very, very handy website. It's really, really awesome. And, um, yes, from the last generation. So I would say that, um, <clears throat> if I was asked how I found this and what I would suggest other people to do in order to find um, antique razors or maybe a fat boy or other Gillette antique razors, I would say go to the most absurd places ever, you know? So there are a lot of people like you and I who run around looking for antique razors all the time. I mean, you go to these antique stores and all you see are those single bladed razors that are old or cracked safety razors that are like, you'll never figure out what, um, what brand they are or anything. Um, 
And I would say that a lot of the places that you've looked at and that I've looked at too, other people have combed over, whether they're collectors of just general antiques or whether they're shavers um, like me who actually use them and, um, and enjoy them. <laughs> um, it's definitely, definitely been combed over. I would suggest going to the most crazy places ever. So I found this at a flea market for $1 in a mug with hair in it and with a blade in it. You know, just in a coffee mug that someone had on a table. They had no idea what this was. This is the Slim, by the way. This I found um, actually less than a mile away. It, it actually connected to the flea market. Um, is this little hole-in-the-wall antique store. And they had everything. They, I mean, they had a bunch of crazy stuff. And this, um, in its case, was propped away in a little corner somewhere. And it probably hadn't been looked at for 20 years. You know, that, that guy had owned that shop. I spoke with him for a very, very long time. And as soon as I asked how much he wanted for this, of course, I didn't let him know that I knew what it was. You know, I actually had my friend ask for me because I just, I started sweating when I saw it. Um, I had my friend, um, really, really great guy. He picked it up and he was like, so what you want for this little blade cutty thingy man and like was looking at it funny and like holding it wrong and then the guy was just like oh I'll take 20 bucks for it dude and I I mean if I wasn't sweating bullets right then and there I probably started seizing on the floor um after I heard that I was very very excited um but uh, I mean the places that you're going to find these are going to be the places that no one is combed over. So I would go to the flea markets, go to the flea markets, go, um, go out in the country. Um, like I said, I live in North Carolina, Western North Carolina, Western North Carolina, I'm sure is just full of these. I'm sure there are a lot of them. Um, but if you just go to the, the most random places ever, that's where you'll find these really cool, <laughs> really cool things. And I, I mean, I couldn't believe that I got this case either. Um, but I, you know, that never, ever would have happened if it had been combed over, you know, regardless of, um, where it was, you know, anyone would be able to see the value of something like this in great condition in its, in its original casing, you know, anyone would have recognized that. I'm not even, it didn't have to be a collector, just anyone. So that shows that this had not been seen for a very, very long time. And I, I mean, I found it, um, <clears throat> whenever I go to these antique stores, I always ask them where the razors are because they know exactly what you're talking about. If you ask an antique store owner where to find the razors at, um, or the safety razors, they will know what you're talking about and they will point you to the right place. You know, the razors might be in several different places. They might say, oh, well, I've got some in the, um, in the rack over here in the corner of the store. And then when you're done looking at those, I'll show you the ones I have in the opposite corner of the store. Sometimes it's like that, you know, other times, um, it might be a little more straightforward. They might be in the front in a display case. But, um, in the case of the fat boy, um, I found this and it, I mean, it was in a very, very back secluded corner. That antique antique store that I went to was not like like a safety razor antique store. It had, um, I think the, the majority of the things that they had in there were um, jade, like sculptures, like very odd um, sculptures made of rocks and stuff. Um, so I would never have expected to find one of these in here. And this was in a corner. I mean, it was in a display case in the back of the display case covered up by a whole lot of stuff. And I'm, you know, whenever I go to those places, I, I'm very polite, but I get in there. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at everything, everything that has a case, anything that's zipped up, you know, um, a lot of antique razors come in these little cases where you unzip them and you don't know what's in there until you unzip them. And oftentimes it's, it's kind of crappy. Um, and that, and that's okay, but <laughs> I get in there, I unzip everything. I, I look at every single one of them before I leave. Um, and I go back to the same place because they all rotate out. They, they cycle their things out and they have, um, I mean, you'll go to the same place once a month and they'll have a whole new set of safety razors every time. So definitely just because you've combed over one place, don't rule that out, um, at all. So, um, in general, just go to the craziest places ever. Absolutely craziest. I found a, I don't have it with me. Um, I don't know if it's 
it's gold plated, but it's definitely a gold colored Gillette Slim as well. I'll put that in a later video. I'm lending it to someone right now. Um, but in a later video, I'll make a video about that one and where I found that one. But um, go to the craziest places ever. Um, get in there. I mean, look behind things. Um, look under things. Unzip things. Definitely ask the lady or man um, or whoever at the front counter where they keep the safety razors. Even if it's not like an antique place that you would expect to sell razors. Just ask them like, hey, do you have antique razors? And they'll know what you're talking about. You know, um, or at least the owner will. You know, if it, the owner's child or something is running the front desk, then you you can ask them like, hey, could I ask, could I see the, the owner of this place and, and talk to them? And, and they'll, um, that, that works really well. And I mean, a lot of these people are really cool. They're just like you, just like me. They love antique things and they love finding the right homes for them. And um, even if you do find something that's uh, a little pricey, they definitely just want to see someone buy it who's as appreciative as they are. So um, yeah, I, I believe that's the end of this video. Um, if you have any questions about, um, about the razor, where I found it, um, any other questions or comments at all, please, um, reach out to me in the comments or, um, message me or anything. I'd love to hear your comments or your questions and to talk to you guys. Um, and I'll put a link in the description to this really, really amazing article about, um, the fat boy. And I'll also put the link for the article surrounding, um, or about dating Gillette razors. Both of them, um, are really, really informational, really, really cool websites. Um, definitely worth your time looking at. And um, if you've never considered um, checking out antique razors, just it's, it's a lot of fun. It's so much fun to go looking around for them and trying to find a deal. And um, they still, if you're um, thrown off by the fact that most of the finds are the single blade safety razors um don't don't they still sell those blades um if i can find a link to an amazon uh, of the blades the single blades i'll put one up um but definitely i don't be put off by by um by by that it's it's a really really cool experience if you're new to de shaving or wet shaving in general um it's it's a really fun way to turn this into something more than a hobby um, and that's exactly what it did for me. So um, I believe that this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for your time. Um, good luck in your search. Uh, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, please like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. All of those things are so cool. And um, I can't believe how many people are watching these videos. It's just really, really inspiring for me to make more. And um, yes, thank you so much. Have an awesome day. Good luck. Uh, in your search, happy shaving, everything all above. Thank you so much.